You're listening to Two Hotheads on Cannabis with Mike Can and Heather Mack, only on UnRegularRadio.com. Yeah, what kind of danger can we expect from this show coming up? I can't wait to go. I'm, I'm very excited. Uh, I've never seen well, it before. Well, I suppose, I mean, you're going to, of course, the band is going to be trying to hit you with axes and swords. Well, that's but, good. Um, so is, are are helmets allowed? A cyborg Marauder with a nuclear powered chainsaw. <laughs> That wouldn't feel good. No. But, um, <laughs> also, you got to watch out for all those assholes in the pit who are going to do their best to bury their brand new $180 Doc Martins that their mommy just bought for them <laughs> by sucking dick And their on ear the plates. <laughs> their fucking ear plates. You got to watch out they don't bury those things in your crotch. <laughs> Actually, this is a this is a timely issue because uh, we just found out uh, recently in the news in Boston is that they are cracking down. The Boston PD has made it their personal mission to go after kids. This Washing. was at a fucking flogging mm. Molly concert. Yeah, no mosh pits. And they're saying no mosh pits, and you're gonna get you know the place is gonna get fined and every all this bullshit. So you're you're coming into a uh, a fire a potential firestorm here. What, the, gets the mayor. Gets the mayor Menino, I guess. Yeah, Guar exactly. Guar versus Menino. Guar versus Menino. What do you think about uh, that? <laughs> do they honestly think they're going to stop people from moshing? <laughs> yeah, they do. That's what they think. Yep. What are they? How are they going to try to enforce that? By closing the clubs. I don't know. Uh, so Chloroform. They won't be able, it, so the moshing will happen at the Guar show, and then the club will get closed down. Yeah. Yep. That's this might be, this might be the end of the of Wil- Wilbur yeah. here. Yeah, that... that you really got to applaud the government and the police of Boston for that decision. Yeah. That's so awesome. Let's going hear it after, for them. Let's going after for the them. real enemies. The real enemies. Let's hear it for them. Let's go ahead and, and make it so the kids don't have any... The kind of kids who totally get out all of that kind of uh, energy that they might well spend vandalizing a public institution. Um, but no, let's take away the one venue that we have where these kids can get out this aggression in it a relatively, supportive. Uh, yeah. I don't know, a harmless maybe is the word I'm and looking a community. for. And it's, a community. it's a community. It's a community. A knocked out yeah. teeth are a small price to pay when compared with a city in flames. Exactly. <laughs> it's actually. So I guess they want us in flames. That's that's the. Well, it does give them job security. I mean, yeah. they'd certainly much rather target a bunch of uh, people that were into music than people that were into selling billions of dollars worth of crack and weapons. I mean, who wants to fight those guys? They've got no. better weapons than the yeah. guns. They, than the cops. Do. They've got more mm-hmm. money. Um, they don't want to really mess with those guys. In fact, those guys are so busy giving the cops money to leave them alone that there's just absolutely no point to it whatsoever. It's just like, right oh, it's such a big fat lie. Yep. Yeah, speaking I of, yeah, speaking everyone, of the- I mean, 